Ah, yes, Montana. An old Greek word meaning a fifth wheel of great value. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what this will represent, someone who takes this home. Comes in just under 12,000 pounds. And the only reason this is here, uh, because there's nothing I can find wrong with it, it's in sharp shape, well kept. The only reason this is here is because the owners owned a body shop. And they got some kind of crazy deal on this uh, damaged, big, old, used toy hauler. But they had the knowledge, know-how, and resources to fix her back up, and they decided to go that route. So here this thing sits as a result. Congratulations. Whoever gets this, you're going to get uh, a, a, a very nice, nearly new, well-kept RV that can probably still qualify for same as new financing. This will make someone like, you, you've been shopping the Montanas and the North Points and the Eagles and all these expensive things. Great. We just found one with a used price tag that's going to blow them out of the market. And you better not wait. This ain't going to last long. Triple slide fifth wheels with islands are not notorious for being able to be fully accessed in transit. The island just really kind of stops that from happening unless you play like the Dukes of Hazard and slide over it. But this 3611 does allow for full access to that refrigerator, which is a just a lovely breath of fresh air in this market that normally when the slides are closed, you can never get to that thing. There is so much here that is still current and um, in line with the uh, existing generation of Montana fifth wheels. Uh, you know, they, they really haven't changed much, but then again, when you're the best selling thing in your class and you have been for, I think, 17 straight years now, you don't go rocking that boat too awful hard now, do you? So uh, up top here, we've got a uh, vaulted ceiling, and I like that for a number of reasons. It always feels more structurally sound from the outside when you have a double ceiling vault. No, I don't really know of any fifth wheel building a flat ceiling anymore. I know some crossroads used to do that years ago, but that's been a while now. I doubt they still do. Um, but even that extra double interior vault, there's a couple benefits to it that I like. It does make it look and feel just big and beautiful, almost like a cathedral-ish ceiling. But the roof trusses are about the same distance apart all the way across. So they have same insulation all the way across. When you have a flat interior roof, but an arched exterior roof, then your insulation reduces as you come down to the sidewall, and that can start to form sweat lines, and you're not gonna get that here. Now you notice you've got that uh, LED overhead like runner lighting above that crown molding right there. Um, I think that's a, one of those neat little things where it just looks appealing, but it also is an amazing sort of night light. We'll come back to the kitchen. Let's focus on the entertainment for now. Back here in the living area, we've got that big residential type ceiling fan for some airflow. This is a dual air conditioned unit, dual centralized AC. Um, over here, your entertainment center, the TV can swing out. It's on a double jointed articulating swing arm for uh, easy viewing, whether you're on the sofa, the dining table, or this big theater seat arrangement. And as long as we're looking over here, let's look at the seating or the uh, sleeping capacity of this, because if this is a couple's coach, but every now and then we have guests, well, that hide-a-bed can fold out. That's a big trifold sleeper sofa. And the uh, theater seat closest to the dining table can still open and lie back. So, depending on how big or small our guests are, you can have one sleeping here, and then potentially one, two, or three, either, you know, like one big person, like real big person, but, you know, two adults or three kiddos could all sleep back here. So you kind of have sleeping for anywhere from four to, like, uh, uh, let me do some math in my head here, five or six. Oh, smoke coming out of my ears. Um, I love, they have like the touches. The touches Montana does, like this this light fixture up here, just touches. They've always been so good at little touches like that. I've said the word touches too many times here. All the cabinetry looks beautiful. I don't see a lot of dings and mars and scars all over the place. All the windows open for ventilation. Everything has um, dual section day and night shades to give you just uh, as much light or privacy as you prefer. And really, a lot of what you see here, this is not very far off of a 3120 rear living or 3121 with the electric fridge as this one has uh montana that you can still get brand new today the only difference is they kind of changed the way that the the wall next to the kitchen and bathroom is sort of arranged now the dining area over here this uh is a couple's coach first and it's got a couple's focused dining arrangement but you do have a, pa uh, a pair of fold away chairs that you can open up for guests and the table has a hidden center leaf in it if you're looking for uh, extra seat. We've already got people outside peeking in the windows. This thing's been here for five whole seconds. 
don't, I don't expect this one to take long. Now, the kitchen is just aesthetically beautiful. Like you look at it and it's just got a, a very nice attractive look to it. But it also just has a truckload of storage. The kitchen storage in this one is just tremendous. It's incredible. You see these big overhead cabinets. I love that little like almost uh, welcome home hutch. You can see down here we've got a big storage area. Now this little uh, blockage you see right here, that's actually your central vacuum cleaner along with what I like to call the electric dustpan. So you can actually just sort of brush what you sweep up uh, right into that floor there since we don't have carpet in the kitchen area. Now uh, your storage continues through the uh, kitchen area here in the kitchen proper as it was. Uh, you've got five drawers right in this main area right here with additional storage both beside and above the microwave. Now as we continue over in the slide you see that we also have a big pantry built right into the slide out and what's awesome is this has more big bonus drawers and I love how they slide open to you so it's easy access storage. And you also have more storage through the entertainment center right here which could very easily uh, bleed over additional kitchen items as well. Now one more thing this has going for it uh, you know, because we've got just all kinds of stuff already. We haven't even looked at the island. So if you take a look at the island storage right down here, you see that they also didn't waste an ounce of that. And this is an extra long extended island. And that means lots of room for things like waste baskets and, uh, you know, more drawers right in the island as well. So the kitchen here, absolutely on point. And to kind of wrap the kitchen up, it ends with a wall controlled max air ceiling vent fan that actually has a rain sensor. So if you do leave, and it starts to drizzle, it'll close itself up and you won't have a big old puddle of water sitting on top of your counter when you come home. One thing I forgot to mention during that little kitchen special <laughs> here at Halid RV is that convection microwave. Now you can do some baking there. So uh, I, I talked to a lot of folks uh, who do a lot of cookies. You can have like two different sets of cookies going on all the time. And if you're cooking cookies, please bring some cooked cookies to Halid RV and bring them to my desk and I will happily dispose of them for you. Uh, 18 cubic foot electric refrigerator with 1000 watt inverter so you can use that in transit. Neat little benefit to these guys in a really hot climate. They do have a little better insulation package to them. That being said with an electric fridge in this I feel this RV is better suited for destination use and not high travel use uh, just due to service records that we've seen here at Halet RV. Moving upstairs, uh, actually before we go upstairs I do like to point out the actual coat closet that we have right here and it drives me nuts how many RVs don't have a coat closet by the door? I talk about that in a lot of my tours all the time. And I do like the hideaway control panel up here, and that's where your max air vent fan's located. Previous owners, I think, also put that little screw in there, or uh, spring, not fancy, but it does keep that closed for us. Now we'll uh, visit our king bed, uh, second air bedroom in just a moment. But first, take a peek at the bathroom. Uh, basically, still the exact same bathroom they use in Montana's today, and for good reason. It's the most popular bathroom that's ever been devised for fifth wheel camping. Big linen storage space over here. We have a one piece seamless molded fiberglass shower that a tall person can comfortably stand in due in part to the location of the skylight as well as the vaulted ceiling. The shower head, that hardware is height adjustable which is very nice so if you have a tall person and a less tall person, gravity friendly if you will, in the house. Um, mobile home here and not mobile home that has a different connotation to it. You get what I mean never mind. Now over here this is easy to miss and a lot of people don't always key into this but you have the same countertop here in the bathroom that you have in the uh, kitchen area but what's more actually if you feel it it is a one-piece molded sink and countertop so there's no seams where you have to watch sealants or water penetration or anything like that. That's a sharp little feature I like. Um, up here, as I mentioned earlier, we do have a king bed. Those fold-away guest chairs that I showed you earlier, they fit perfectly under that bed. That is the ideal location for them. With the king bed slide, we've still got plenty of room to walk around here. And uh, I want to point out that up here in the bed, we do have dual cross breeze windows. And notice that we have stands with an outlet installed in the slide wall right here on both sides of the bed. And I cannot begin to describe how uncommonly uncommon that is. It's just not normal. Not my greatest word selection, but you know what I mean anyway. So the vaulted ceiling up here, one of the things I like about this is if you are a little bit taller like I am, like I can stand, even without the vault, I can stand all the way up to the closet with my head against the wall. I'm 6'3", I'm still good. I'm close, 
I'm close to this little um, thermos sensor up here for the second air conditioner, but I'm not hitting anything except, you know, hitting my head against the wall, but that's normal. I bang my head against the wall every day at work, but <laughs> say la vie, never mind. We are set up for a washer and dryer in the front closet. I do like how they've utilized every square inch of this they could by even recessing those shelves up into the uh, nose panel. And something I don't do a good job of is really kind of showing folks around in the closets here. Now this is not set up for a stackable washer dryer, but it is set up for more than a combo. You can do a, I think it's a washer. Yes, okay. Washer and a dryer. It's a split setup right there. Um, some people prefer one or the other. Some people like one brand of ice cream instead of the other. I don't know which one's better. Now, this bedroom arrangement here actually still persists uh, almost identically to how we're seeing it in the Montana High Country series today. With the little, uh, like you got a nice little boot bench right here, but that seat actually lifts up to reveal a little laundry hamper, which is kind of handy. And our original bedroom TV, present and accounted for. And you can see that the owner was very good about strapping things down in transit so they weren't banging around and there is no like uh, potential for damage or anything like that here. This has been well kept, guys. Man, first, just what a beautiful day, first of all. It's it's like 70 with just the slightest breeze rolling through here right now. This is perfect camping weather. Couldn't have picked a better day for this one to come in. Um, big patio awning and, uh, you know, obviously push button with LED lighting. But look at this. They actually added an articulating swing arm outside TV right here. That is not factory work, but it was done... Uh, extremely well so you do have awesome little outside patio area now right here this is like uh, basically like reflective stuff this is the same stuff they use to often insulate like underbellies and bathroom decks of RVs it's amazing stuff they cut this to the size of the uh, super slide and maybe the rear windows but basically they're window sized so that if you are going to be camping somewhere just crazy hot suns you can throw that stuff up there and keep all that heat and solar radiation out of there now this has just a massive drop frame storage about it. It is ridiculously big down here. Access to the uh, uh, dump area for the uh, central vacuum. That's the word I'm looking for. And I love the fact, no carpet. Now that carpet stuff on the bottom, um, six point hydraulic auto leveling with hitch height memory. We have both Moride pin box and suspension so that towing this big girl there, uh, you know, is going to be a more comfortable experience. Obviously, you're going to need the right truck for it. So please plan your vehicle accordingly. This is not a half tonnable fifth wheel. Please don't, <laughs> please don't. Um, you're going to be a good heavy three quarter ton and one ton single rear wheel will get you done here. You're not necessarily needing to go duly country right now. Uh, zero degree rated. Montana's have been zero degree rated since 05. It's amazing how many brands want to claim they were the first. And Montana wasn't the first, but, uh, you know, the, the point is that they're getting the job done. Uh, I like that enclosed heated protected docking station and then little detail stuff like this. Remember I keep talking about the Montana touches. It's one of the reasons we love having them here new at Halo RV. They've got the touch. Keeping the sewer hose away from your camping stuff in that pass-through area. That is awesome. And take a look at the exterior here. Like I said, this has not been oxidized. It's not sun-baked and faded. It's still got a very good look about it. Plenty of sheen, shine, and glimmer to that skin. Back here on the rear bumper, previous owners did add a uh, little two inch bolt on receiver hitch bike rack type thing. Well, not bike rack, but receiver hitch for bike racks. Um, it's something that's become more and more common on big fifth wheels today. Pardon me as I slide through here, tight little parking area. Uh, ladder to get us up to the roof. Uh, we'll take a peek up there in just a minute, but I want to give you one more look. Now we do have frameless sidewall windows with sliding slide side windows. That's kind of tricky to say, at least for me for some reason. The idea there being to give you all the good looks, but all the airflow when you want it, and we are backup camera ready. So let's take a peek up that ladder and see what's going up on the roof. Walking around up here on the roof, by and large, looks pretty good. A little dusty. It looks like it hasn't really been taken out. Between uh, just general dust blowing through the air and a little bit of rain that we've had recently, it's managed to collect a little bit on the roof, but I mean, overall, you can see it's obviously been cleaned and, and cared for. The uh, AC shrouds and vents and stuff, they're not all sun damaged and baked. The top of the slides look good. Uh, looking real close at stuff like the, uh, the seals right here. 
Seals all look really good. These are still original factory seals, and uh, they still got some decent pliability to them, so these seals are in ace shape right here. It's also a nice place. You can see the low profile second air that was added to the bedroom up there. So overall, she looks all right. I don't really see anything here that scares me. So uh, whether it's new, used, <laughs> hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer, package deals, RV delivery, or everything in between, we only do everything here at Haylet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.